Hi, I'd love to show you my most recent project. So I recently decided to begin automating my data analytics um, project. I mean, I, I want to create something automated, something that updates immediately, if possible, as the data is being entered into the database. So for this particular project, I used the following tools. I used Streamlit. I used Postgres SQL, I used Python, Azure Postgres database, Python Plotly, and Power BI. So for the Streamlit, it's what I used to host the application. This interface you are seeing is being hosted on Streamlit. This app is on Streamlit. Then in the back end, I used Postgres SQL to query the database. Now mind you, all the data that has been entered from here, it's saved on my Azure Postgres database on the cloud. So any data that has been entered here, the profit to create calculator automatically and it will be saved on the cloud on my Azure Postgres database. So I use Postgres SQL to query that database and um, bring out some results. Then I use Python to convert that result into a data frame for what you are seeing into this data frame and also I used um, Python Plotly interactive library to plot this visualization from that data frame. That was what I used um, Python um, Plotly to do. Then lastly, I used Power BI to connect to that database and create a report view, a report for a mobile view. Okay. So briefly, I'll just um, do a little exercise here to see how it works. So to the left is where you make some entries. Any, um, I mean, it's a test I'm just checking out, right? I just to test run it. So any product you select here, let's say you're on Apple, you see that the models here are all for Apples. If I should select on, uh, let's say, Samsung, you see that the models Will give you different options for Samsung. Now, mind you, this is not like a full big project, right? It's just to see how this stuff works. So, I just have some limited uh, model of Samsung here. If it is Xiaomi, for instance, so it gets updated and you can select any of the Xiaomi. So, let's say it's Xiaomi, um, let's say 12T. Now, this is where you enter the dates in which that item was purchased, right? We are looking at a simple. Um, phone database phone cells phone entries so you select the date in which that sales was made let's say it was made on the 11th of this month we are currently in april um today's date is um 17th of april 2023 so let's say it was bought on 11th and i sold it as of today let's say i bought it for 2000 mind you this is just a a, a random number it's not like the exact price then I sold it for let's say five thousand. So here is the Xiaomi column. Now what will happen is, once I save these details, this table will get updated. What we are seeing here is the last five um, entries on the table that is on the database. So if I save these details, it will become ID number two with. Content. Mind you too, what I gave was just the cost price and the sold um, the selling price. So the profit will be calculated for us automatically. So also pay attention to the charts. This is Xiaomi. So we currently have 3,600, right? Then we have 4,400 and 8,000 here. So the minute I click on save details, these charts will get um, updated instantly and our table too will get updated instantly. Now, the Power BI will not get updated until I refresh it, right? I need to refresh it because of how I set it. But here will get updated instantly. So I'll click on Save Details. So you see, Xiaomi is now here. And you see the entries here. It has changed. It's now 6,430K. Then on our table, we see that the ID 32 and the last entry we just made is here. The profit was calculated for us. So you see the chart changes automatically. All right. Then let's make one more entry. Let's say I bought it on um, 12. Sold it today. 
but let's say for a different price, let's say 4,000. So Jamu would, this Jamu will still increase. It will increase. So I'll save details and we'll have ID 33. So you see, it increases. And we have the latest entries and the profits. So this is it. Now coming to the Power BI, based on how I design it, I need to refresh it. Now, if you pay attention here, we just have Xiaomi here, like as it was initially. So the moment I click on refresh, it will get updated instantly with the latest entries we have on our database. So I'll click on refresh. Have you seen? We now have our Xiaomi 8.6K, 8.6. The Apple is 6.5k, 6,500. Then here is the chart. Okay, so this is the web, the web view. So here is the mobile view of um, this report. So I used Power BI to design it in a way that the 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 owner of the the store can view the report from his or her phone directly, as you can see. So had it been you had um, um, the phone was something I can show you like right here. You will see that all you need to do is refresh that view, that report on your mobile phone, and it will get updated with whatever latest entry has been made on that database. So this is like my latest project, and I hope to build on this and come up with something more um, advanced than this. Then down here is a documentation where I list um, some steps and stuff you need to know about the application and how it works. Then I also um, created um, a space where you can download the data. Now you can download this data here in a C not not five like the whole data sets like one to thirty three. You can download all of it in the form of a CSV or an Excel file or a JSON file, whichever one you want. You just click on it and it will take you to where you can download the file. Okay, so here is how you can reach out to me. All right, thank you. That's what I was going to show you. So it's an automated process whereby you make your data entries, your chart gets updated. Now, like I said, this is like a test. So in my future project to come, I'll get to plot in more views here and then build more um, charts here for the phone view and for the web view. Thank you for watching. Drop some comments on wherever you are seeing this post, either on LinkedIn or on YouTube. Then if you have any questions concerning the project, reach out to me. Thank you.